Hey everybody, Astro Freak here. I wanted to make a little video showing how I just learned how to use MainStage to control my Neural DSP plugins. This is pretty handy because Neural doesn't have any sort of hub for switching between them or anything like that. You can set up a channel strip in Logic for one pre plugin and another channel strip for another one, but even that can be kind of slow and clunky. I really find MainStage to be quite useful in this regard, and I had never used it before this morning. As you can see here, I have a patch list set up in my concert, as they call it. I just came up with a bunch of presets that I like and I use that I've created within my plugin. So like as you see here, I have my Corey Wong, nice clean preset. And I can switch over to a Tone King with uh, pretty much no effort. glass sounding thing <laughs> so it's really nice to be able to switch back and forth without even having to anyway that's the idea and it makes it really nice because I have about five I think right now and you can switch pretty effortlessly so I'm going to show you how I did this and the part that took me the longest was kind of learning my way around main stage and I've just opened it this morning but here we go I'm gonna start a brand new uh, brand new whatever you would call this so you can see how it shows up when you open main stage for the first time or opening a new project so you'll see usually it'll start with quick start up there I just tend to go to guitar or amp whatever open that choose here now I'm going to shrink this down so it will fit and everybody can see it. Let's do a little moving around. There we go. So this is kind of the main little workplace, which uh, is not too good looking, but, you know, whatever. So what are we going to do is just like in Logic, you got a channel strip here. We're going to delete the pedal board, delete the amp, and for the EQ, I've pretty much been... Uh, kind of just leveling it out. I have been leaving it on because it's kind of nice to have a little uh, low in, low pass filter or uh, yeah whatever low low cut right there not low pass filter but low cut right there. Uh, compressor I've just been turning it off because um, most of the plugins have their own tape delay I've just been doing. Now you can always add whatever you want but Noise gate is actually kind of nice because uh, it's kind of nice to have a noise gate before the plug-in, before the neural plug-ins. just kind of helps uh, cut any single coil tones I might have if that kind of hum is in your way. So what I did here is I went and I added, let's say, the Obasi plug-in. So let's go. So what you can do is just add, you know, let's say I put this Astro Glass preset that I came up, which is a pretty cool preset. I like it. Now it's saved into number this preset patch list number one. Now I'm, let's rename this Abasi. So I know that's what that is. Now make sure that you check this little thing right there. So that way when you switch to a different preset in the patch list, it will change your plug in to match whatever shown up so then all I did is I went and I duplicated that boom now let's say I want to call this one Tone King so now I can get rid of that I just minimize it and I'll go I'll put in Tone King and now it's gonna bring up my Tone King and I always like the blue alright so now I'm switching between those two effortlessly which is really cool and then I'll say I want to do another one. So I'll just add, duplicate that, and it's going to automatically load the channel strip of whatever you're on here, So, which is cool. So now let's do a different one. Let's do Pliny. Pliny. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. My apologies. Um, so now that one's loaded, and I can load a preset. Now remember what presets you have loaded and then I will change that Pliny X and it's as easy as that so next time 
you want to just switch between different uh, plugins, it's as easy as just loading up your little thing. So let's say I want to save that. So next time, you know, I open it up, it'll load all this stuff automatically. Rock Show 101. Well, I hope that helped. It was really simple. Um, oh, the cool thing is you can also add other plugins that are not by, you know, well, Neural into the chain, just like you could in Logic, and now you got cool stuff going on. You can do whatever you want. It's kind of nice. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. And if you like videos like this, I can try to think of more to come up with. But I hope that helped. Later.